Hi, this is John from Vistapan Steel Instruments. Today we're going to talk about one of the most basic things in upkeeping your pan, especially a chrome pan, and that will be chrome polishing your pan. A lot of people ask exactly how they should do this, and it's, it's really pretty simple. There's just a few things to know. Of course, you need the product, and the two most common ones that you find are the Turtle brand, chrome polish. Very inexpensive. I think at Walmart it's two or three dollars at most. And then a much better polish called Mother's. It's in the red container. It says Mother's on it. And um, this costs uh, probably five fifty, six dollars, somewhere like that. It does produce a better result, although this, is, this does the job too. Uh, this seems to get a much uh, brighter shine out of your out of your pan. And of course then you need uh, cloth. Uh, personally I use two different cloths, one to apply it, one to clean it off. Um, the easiest thing, if you can't find uh, uh, cotton cloth, um, you can buy a pack of, uh, of undershirts, large undershirts or extra large undershirts and make plenty of cloth and uh, those, those only cost a few dollars. So uh, that's a way to do it. So let me demonstrate a couple techniques here. So you take your smaller piece piece of cloth and your polish. You want to make sure that you you want to make sure that you um, very thoroughly shake it up because the good stuff is on the bottom. So you have to get it on there. You open it up and just put a uh, about that much, good size amount. You rub from the center out. Just keep going around. The main part that gets dirty is usually towards the center, and the the large notes on your pan are are usually less of a problem. This pan is doesn't really need it at this point, but for a demonstration. So now, once you put it on, you want to let it haze over. You'll notice after a minute or two, it'll kind of uh, change color slightly it'll haze and that's the point you want to get it to before you um, start the uh, process of wiping it off so when you chrome polish your pan you don't really need to do this all the time in fact you shouldn't you know there's there's two kinds of chrome on pans this pan is a brush chrome that's the uh, uh, not as shiny one the uh, high gloss chrome pan is one that looks more like the fender of a Harley Davidson motorcycle. You can see your face in it. You can look at it and you you can see an image of your face um, on some of them in every note you can you can is almost like a mirror, you know. Uh, a brush chrome uh, is a nice look. It looks like a chrome plant pan, but it, particularly in the notes um, you won't see that kind of mirror type effect. You know? And particularly on a on a brush chrome pan too much chroming, too much uh, you know uh, cleaning with chrome polish. You're taking, you can take the chrome off, and and that's another thing. You don't want to rub too hard. You know you can remove some of the chrome, and that uh, is not what you're looking to do. So I say uh, usually about twice a year, you can remove the, uh, you can uh, chrome polish your pan. And that's usually enough. You know you should keep a cloth like this in your case with your pan and every time you play especially when you play a gig you want to you want to wipe your pan down and get any kind of moisture out it may not look like it has moisture but there's in the air there's moisture so uh, that will do more than anything else to save the nice finish the nice chrome polish on your pan because if you don't do that typically pans will start to pit and eventually that leads to rust so you won't have the longevity so now this is hazed over at this point. So start in the middle and do a very fast. Don't do it slow. You you get a much better result, a much shinier result if you if you go really really fast. A little bit wider. I'm not really pushing hard. You don't want to. If you push really hard, you could push a note out of tune. You know. You don't want to do that. Just, just quick, and to get it up. And the second time you come through, I don't know if you can see that. 
second time through is when you really get the polish. That's when it really shines. It was um, you just come around, do all your big notes. Not a bad idea to do the rim area because it's hard to get to. Make sure you have all your chrome off. And it's beautiful again. Now you also want to do this around the, the skirt, which is much easier to do. Um, so you don't get any pitting around the skirt. But it's typically in the node area where pans uh, have a problem where they start to pit if you're not careful. Wipe your pan out every time you play it. Chrome polish it twice a year and it'll, it will last a very, very long time.